Hi, this is Brendan Foster from Louisville Roofing Contractors here and I wanted to uh, make a quick video response to a question that we had from uh, one of our customers that came in through our website and the question was why do attics and roofs creak and crack particularly at night I think most of us have had that experience where we've been led in a bed in the stillness of night and you can hear this creaking and cracking happening in the attic space. For some people it causes some concern uh, because it sounds like something may be broken in the roof or something is about to collapse. Well, in fact, it's a perfectly natural phenomena and it's caused by uh, a difference in temperature. That the, uh, As the roof space starts to cool during the night time, uh, wood particularly is very responsive to changes in temperature so when wood gets warmed it expands this is because of the small degrees of moisture that are still contained within the wood itself and uh, the wood will expand and then uh, opposite to that is when uh, the environment the atmosphere is cool that the wood contracts so typically through a daytime as the roof space gets hotter uh, naturally it will be expansive and then at night as the temperature drops some uh, there will be small degrees of movement and so across the whole span of the roof this is where you're going to hear this creaking and cracking. So how do we get over that? So you can see in this diagram here uh, this is a typical structure of a roof space and uh, there's two, two types of insulation that we can use in a roof. This one here you can see the insulation that's blown in above the ceiling. When this happens it means that everything below that insulation in the house is kept warm and anything that's above it is subject to the outside temperature of the roof. So this is the typical case where the roof is going to heat up in the day and cool down at night and you're going to get uh, most of this creaking and cracking happening from this phenomena here. Um, other ways of getting around it would be to, um, if you see here, would be to use a foam insulation in the roof space. So you can see over here some guys spraying the foam up into the roof. If we take a closer look at that, you can see that the foam itself is sprayed within the actual rafters of the roof structure itself so that the barrier against the changes in temperature is right here on the underside of the roof and the air within the attic itself is conditioned in the same way that the air within the, your bedrooms are is, is conditioned also. This has a greater chance of minimizing the amount of cracking and movement that you would hear within a house itself. And uh, it's what we would call a warm roof. So when there's the insulation under the top here, this space is warmed inside and it's just a few degrees different to that of the rooms beneath. With this type of insulation, what happens is the heat is held beneath the ceiling, but the space up here is the same temperature or subject to the extremes of temperature change that would be happening from the outside. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that answers your question. Uh, this is Brendan Foster from Louisville Roofing Contractors. If you have any other uh, questions for us, please feel free to give us a call on 502-912-8937. And uh, we'd be very happy to help you out with any of your roofing projects. Okay, thank you so much.